Dr. Bachman. Ro knows exactly what his boss wants. <laughs> Dr. Harry Bachman, a successful businessman and a family man. Excuse me, sir. I was actually bringing the report from yesterday's meeting. Don't worry, leave it on my desk. I'll work on it later on. He has worked so hard to achieve a lot in life. Dr. Bachman's Fridays are always special. Tell the driver to position the car now. We are out of here at this very moment. And remember, it's a Friday. And you know I don't joke with my Friday nights. Let's go, honey. So, what's your name? Where do you come from? What do you do? Which tribe are you? Please, sir, will you cut the protocol? All I need is two shots of brandy and one large like whiskey on ice. Ah. You know. Okay, sir. To get a taxi for the girl. Yes, Doc. This is Malahini. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. And thank God it's Friday. <laughs> thank God it's Friday. Oh, oh dog, it never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> so, what do I owe this call? Yes, lawyer. You see, I need to see you. We have to meet over my will. But doc, you've been amending this will for the past 10 years. What again? There are new developments. I see. Mm, all right. So where and when? Monday morning, in my office. 10 a.m., will that all be okay for you? Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Trusted confidant and longest serving servant of the famous Dr. Buckman, an unassuming character who is loved by all the children. An assertion Dr. Harry couldn't deny either. Clark, the chief butler. Yeah, so you enjoyed it. And you never told me you did. Fifteen minutes. Now that's a very dangerous place for my car to go. All right, I'll be expecting you. I love you. See that? I love you. Just when everything seemed to be all right, he would lose the most important thing. His life. Now that we have your statement, the lawyer can go ahead and sign the bill bond. Meanwhile, um, people need to report here every other day, and um, since investigation is underway, I think your support will be needed. Thank you.
Kendall is beautiful. Charming and somewhat the innocent daughter of Dr. Buckman. A renowned and successful fashion designer of all standards. With her life under blackmail, Kendall believes life is just a game of chess where only the faint-hearted lose. Welcome, Kendall. Clark, nice to see you again. It's my pleasure, Kendall. Mrs. Osamwa. Meet my husband, Mark Osamwa. Nice meeting you. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, my wife here told me a great deal about you. Nothing terrible, I hope. Oh, no. On the contrary, she has fond memories about you. This is great. Tyler, the eldest son of the Buckland and the lawyer. Gentle but deceitful brother who will stop at nothing than to see his father's entire estate in his possession. How are you doing? I'm so Hi, uh, Tyler. Long time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how are you doing? Good good, 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 good. Hello, Tyler. Hello, how are you doing? It's a pleasure meeting you again. Pleasure meeting you too. I hope you're ready to take care of all of us. Sure. You've always been dear to my heart. I promise to make you all comfortable. <laughs> no problem. Anyways, my little old room is still available. Yes, mm. I'm still happy. All right. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Woody, witty in nature but brown in his beliefs and pronouncements. His father has always wanted him to be an engineer. But with a desire to live a life of his own, he's still struggling to become a musician. After pursuing an unsuccessful career as a footballer, Woody loves the strings of the guitar and will let the guitar take you back. I can't believe Father's not going to be in there waiting for us to come in. Don't waste your breath. The old boy is too busy trying to run his own thing and hang. Uh, hello. Hey, sir. Welcome, Woody. I don't shake this one and one. Hey, Peggy, let's go upstairs. I want to fresh it up. Tyler, um, Mr. Banaini would like to know when it's convenient for him to hold a family meeting. Um, who is Banaini? Um, Troy Osu Banaini. He's the family lawyer. Okay, I remember him. He used to be with Daddy a lot. He was around when we were young. Yeah, I'm sure it's about the will and the testament. Okay, you know what? Why don't you tell him to pass by tomorrow morning? We'll all be at home. That's fine. Um, in that case, dinner is at seven. All right, so seven it is, eh? Old time memories. Yeah. Okay. Yes, who is it? Come in. Ah, get them. I'm missing that dog. Thank you. Where is he? The street man said he just rides down. Okay, thank you. It's the blackmailer again. He's demanding for more money. So, what, what are we going to do? Pay again? I guess so. No! We're not preparing again. No! You know what? Um, let's just go for dinner, okay? We'll go for dinner, but we're not paying anybody again. I read your take on the customs things. Max, be exciting being a lawyer. Oh, well, sometimes it is. So, what kind of cases do you handle? 
Oh, um, criminal, rape, fraud, murder. Anyway, Kendall, I hear you're a very successful fashion designer, true? Oh yes, it's by the special grace of God. I had a big fashion show too. All my clothes got sold out as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. she's, she's a fantastic designer. But a new mark, what do you do now? I, I, I work with the brokerage firm. Brokerage firm? Oh, so you're the little millionaires walking around driving flashy cars and stuff, eh? No, not exactly. I, I, I just got started. Honey, pay him no attention, okay? Not that I love him. That's what Peggy. From waitress to sleep, eat and shit. <laughs> She's as lazy as a dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Peggy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's, you shouldn't say that to your wife. Anyway, I, I bet you, Daddy didn't leave a dime. Um, I hear there's a, a lot of money in the estate. <laughs> you don't know about that money. He probably left us with uh, his old jackets and a box of cigar. <laughs> Buddy, come on. I know that man. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Um, I'm informed the family you are here. Thank you. I think it will be a very interesting morning. I think so too, sir. I'm wondering how they're going to react. Sorry, sir. We can go in now. Mrs. Kendall Samuel and Mark Samuel. I'm you. I am Barista Banai. Okay. And that's my associate lawyer, Oswald Queen. Oh, here comes Woody. Ah, you must be lawyer Banai. Is that it? Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Did you bring the cash along with you? Well, uh, we're really looking forward to, you know, putting it together. And um, this, uh, this Peggy? My wife. Uh, did the old boy leave anything with us? Good um, morning. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice meeting you. Thank you. That's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm very sorry we lost the old man. Accept my condolence. Uh, this all history. Um, did the old boy leave anything for us or not? Uh, let's talk about the will and the testament. Woody, why don't you do things accordingly? For God's sake, I want to know. Did he leave anything for us or not? Woody. Kendall, do you need to be told that the old boy didn't leave us a peswa? As a matter of fact, the old man left something for you, which of course will be shared equally amongst you. Fantastic! Did you hear that? Um, how much are we talking about here? Anyway, the exact amount I wouldn't be able to tell. But I believe it's in the region of 4 million Ghana cities in liquid assets. You mean more than 1 million Ghana cities each? For all of us? For your information, 99% of Buckman's Enterprises shares was owned by your father. So those shares will be shared equally amongst you. The remaining 1% will be outrightly owned by lawyer Tyler, the eldest son of Dr. Buckman. Well, there are some other formalities that we need to go through. Furthermore, 
Um, there is a possibility of another heir. Another heir? Yes, your father's will actually specifically provides that the estate should be shared equally amongst his issues. Lawyer Tyler, what does the term issues mean? Natural descendants and legally adopted descendants. Oh, that's correct, yes. Anyone born in wedlock or outside wedlock is deemed to be a descendant and that person is duly protected by the law in this jurisdiction. Um, what are you saying? Can you go all over again? Well, in simple terms, I mean there could be another claimant. Who? Well, I'm sure you are aware of a certain woman who worked for your father some years back as a maid. Mama Rose. Exactly. Rosemary Nelson. She had a baby at Trinity Hospital at Abraka in Accra. The girl is called Julia Buckman. Tyler, this is like um, 20 something years ago, right? 23 years to be precise. So, um, does anyone know where she is? Well, no one knows where she is. Not even your late father. Oh, interesting. This what the fuck? Let's go ahead with the way. Well, I am trying to establish the fact that whether she appears or not, she's still entitled to her share of the estate. Should we include her? How much is my share? So, what you're trying to tell me is that you do not know the exact amount of the estate. Yes. Am I right? Well, my firm represents your father's personal issues. With his corporate affairs, um, he has these two law firms to handle that. In fact, I've been in touch with them and uh, very soon the financial statements will be made available to us to that effect. What time frame are we talking about here? Uh, probably a month or two. Is there anything you can do to... Hurry things up. No, I'm afraid not. The will has to go through probate court and uh, their calendar is heavily choked. I'm sorry. What is a probate court? Probate is derived from the Latin word probari. It is a legal process ensuring that one's will is properly made and executed. This means that... Uh, do you mind? How much is my share? Excuse me, the law doesn't work that way. You see, the will has to be filed in a probate court. Taxes must be deducted. And then the petition filed to enable um, the disbursement made properly to the beneficiaries. Where was the law when my father was toiling for his wealth? Anyway, I think there is nothing more to touch on. If you may permit us, we want to leave. Well, 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 well. Ah. Have you seen his children? Douglas of uh, his extended family? What do you think? Honestly, sir, it looks more like a celebration than mourning. I now understand why the extended family opted out. If a man will leave this amount of money for his children, where would they be happy when he's dead? I'm sure he loved them. Good question. Good question. And that's one question no one knows. Perhaps that was the reason why he wanted to see me on that Monday before his untimely death. Or maybe he wanted to leave the money with someone else. I was a maid servant in Dr. Bachman's house. 
We live there as one big family. One day, I don't know what came over him. I hate him. You mustn't hate him. How could he have done that to you? What happened was my fault, as much as his. Do I hate him because of the way he treated my mother? Do I love him because he's my father? Do I feel guilty because I never tried to get in touch with him? Do I feel angry because he never tried to find me? It doesn't matter anymore. He's gone. Do I have anything of him in me? The eyes. Same deep brown eyes. It is happening. It is really happening. I can afford to give Michael the whole world. Anything. Everything. Oh, Michael, I miss you so much. I love you. Once I get hold of my share, I'll find a way to pay my blackmailers off permanently. And I'll make sure they never bother me again. If I get hold of this one million cities, I will buy stuff worth uh, uh, enough stuff. Yeah, enough stuff that, that can last me eternity. Uh, I can even be a distributor. Oh, money. Money is good. You all are making plans throughout the night, right? <laughs> How does one plan for this? It is such an unbelievable amount. Well, it's the kind of amount that is going to change your life so good, eh? If not, worse it. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a message from a back man at the door. Julia? She's here. And how ugly is she? You mean the same Julia we've been expecting? Rosemary Nelson is my mother, and Dr. Harry Bachman was my father. Proof. I don't have any. So why the fuck should we give you a sister? A DNA. So, if I just saying is true, then you are half-sister? Kendall. Woody. And you must be Tyler. I know my name. You are here because you heard there is a huge sum of money to share. I'm not here because of any money. I'm here to pay my last respect to my late father because I heard he passed away. If it was because of the money, I would have been here long ago. So where's your mother? She died. So? She told me special things. Special things like? I remember mother used to tell me how you all had good time together. So to you, you think you've said something sensible? Which one of you fell off the seesaw when you went to the children's park years ago? Which My mother. I was the one. She took you all to the Swansea Shopping Arcade and 
One of you got lost and everyone was in panic. Yeah, so what else? One of you followed her to the market and fell in oil. What must we can do? She told me... Um, all of you went to the Kwame and Kuma Museum and one of you wouldn't go home because of a young boy. Mm. Of course, not me. I don't know. I really need me. Um, I got this from my mother. Anything else? No. My mother didn't want anything around that reminded her of Dr. Harry Parkman. Except to you, of course. Well, uh, fair enough. I think we all have to sit down and discuss. Where do you live? Fishy. Fine, so why don't you just go home for now? And I will contact you later on. But before you leave, give your number to Clark, okay? Remember, stories can be bought. No matter what you think about this or how you feel, I only came here to meet my family, and I'm happy. I'll walk you to the door. She's a fraudster. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear beloved, we've gathered here this day to pay our last respect to our dear beloved brother, colleague, and father, Dr. Harry Bachman. Shall we all sing the song about... There was a woman in the house yesterday claiming to be our sister. Uh, and you don't believe her? No, and I intend to prove she's a fraud. How do you suppose you can do that? Well, by DNA test, of course. Well, you know that would mean exhuming your father's body, right? Well, is there a problem with that? Well, I'll discuss it with lawyer Banahene and uh, we'll have to get an exhumation permit. If it does go that far, we'll need a DNA expert to sort things out. Okay? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The scripture says that he who believes in him, though they are dead, yet will they live. May the soul of our departed friend and father and colleague rest in perfect peace. Amen. <laughs> Let's pray. <laughs> Unto him that is able to keep us from falling, the only wise God, rest and abide with us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> Peggy, I don't think all is well with uh, Uji. Is there any problem? Oh. Why? I don't think all is well. Do you know what? I like to meet the both of you at the clinic by Wednesday 4 p.m. Oh. Wednesday 4 p.m. 
It can't be possible. Why not um the weekend? 4 p.m. We'll be there. If it's okay by you. It's okay, we'll be there. Have you guys finished having Mrs. Quilter's first? Yes, madam. Mm. What about Kujo? Uh, yeah, we can it. Yeah, the joke. You guys have to hurry up because time is not on our side. The fashion show is this weekend. Okay? I keep getting calls. Uh, Madam, is it at the same venue? No, this time it's at the Men's Week Grand Hotel. They have a very spacious auditorium. Okay. Excuse me, Madam. I'm not sure for you. Right. A gentleman then does it. A gentleman? Yeah. How does he look like? It's a lovely child, big stomach. And a nice and Okay, thank you. Another demand of 5,000 Ghana cities? What? When shall I have my freedom? Who is behind all of this? Where did I go wrong? When will all this end? My God. Madam. 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 I want you to meet Isaac Alate. Who the hell are you? DNA expert. Mission? To prove her biological status. Then get ready, bitch. Woody, how are you? <laughs> As you can see, it's perfect. Fit as a lion. So it seems. Doctor, is there any problem? Sure there is. With, with Peggy? No, with you. Me? Woody, I observed you so closely at the cemetery. And if you continue like this, you're going to destroy your life and that of Peggy's. What are you taking? Taking? Lysu. Peggy, are you aware that Woody is on drugs? No. He's not. I can't believe this. He's not. He is. Look, let's be realistic here. Don't you want to help him? Woody, I'd like to help you. So you tell me, who has been giving you the drugs? <laughs> We've been refused the exhumation permit. Jobless! Let's go ahead with the wheel. No, no. There should be another way around. Have you any mind? Look, is this a kind of a joke? Tyler, what do we do? I need this money badly. Well, I guess we should hire a private investigator to expose her. I think you're right. Won't that be too expensive? Come on, Peggy. We're talking of millions of Ghana CDs here. Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Frank Annan. Blackmore Alert Agency. Sorry I'm late. I hope you live up to expectation. Okay. Seat. Lawyer Tyler Backman. That is my brother Woody and his wife Peggy. That is my sister Kendall and her husband Mark. Nice to meet you all. There's a lady claiming to be our sister. 
You need me to authenticate her claims? Right. Well, it will cost you 350 CDs a day. How long will this take? Two weeks, maximum. Hmm. So what if after two weeks, uh, we don't get any results? I make refunds. Deal. Then get started. Well, I need you to furnish me with very vital information about her. You think we are stupid? They pay you 350 cities each day and you expect us to give you information. Start from the start. She was a maid, had an affair with my father, got pregnant and ran away. She disappeared. After 23 years, the baby has surfaced. Great. I'll start immediately. Bullshit! Fuck you! I am Frank Annan. Ah, lawyer Tyler told me of your coming. How may I help you? Well, I need information about Rosemary and where she left off. Rosemary? She had a child at Holy Trinity Hospital in Accra, at Abraka, to be precise. She named the child Julia Buckman, and then she disappeared. In fact, that's all I can tell you about her. Good. That's enough and a, a very good beginning. Uh, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Hello? Yeah, hi. I, I really miss you, you know. I miss you too. Listen, um, baby, there's something I need to discuss with you. Uh, very exciting news, as a matter of fact. I'm always available for you. I'll come tomorrow so we, 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 we talk about it. What should I prepare for you? Baby, all I need is you. Okay, you and only you. You're the only person that can really satisfy me. You understand that? You're all I need in this world. I love you, Aunt Andy. I love you too, baby. Mm. Mm. I understand you have some information for us. Um, I must admit, this is... Um, the most interesting job, I mean assignment I have um, carried out recently. It began... Cut the crap, mister! Is she a fraud or not? Well, I followed her trail from when she was born and where she was born, right through where she has worked and lived, until she disappeared ten years ago. That's it! You lost trail 10 years ago. Julia applied for a driver's license um, when she turned 17 and uh, a snake benefactor for herself. Well, I checked the records and uh, if the pictures there match with a scanned signature, then I'm afraid she is your biological sister. That's your last card. Where are you going with that? Oh. Coming here was a mistake. A huge one, of course. Well, I guess you no blame us for our doing. Ever since I stepped into this house, I've been met with nothing but suspicion. Anyway, I'd like you to meet Detective Frank. Am I being arrested? No, far from that. I would love to see pictures of you if you have copies here. And I need you to sign here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you have the same. Meaning? She's our sister. Well, I guess that calls for some form of celebration. Welcome home. Something bothers me, sir. What is it? I'm not quite sure, but it's the Buckman family. <laughs> Join the club. And yet this Frank Annan, I... I checked with the district attorney's office in cantonments and he seems to have a great reputation. I mean, coming up with fingerprints, verification. Excuse me, sir.
Like Oswald? I'll be happy if you could pass by my house tomorrow. Wow. Any developments? Yeah, um, the, you see, the private detective that we hired, yes, he's been able to prove beyond every reasonable doubt that um, the lady is our sister. Glad to hear. <laughs> I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. Sir, my presence is requested at the Bachman residence. I wonder what they want. Apparently, Frank Annan has proved beyond all reasonable doubt that Julia is their sister. Ten to one, they want to speed up the process so they can lay their hands on their money. I won't be surprised at all. Lawyer Tyler seems very relaxed. Kendall is unnaturally tense. Julia seems too calm for someone who has just landed millions of Ghana CDs. So, Rana, what are we waiting for? Woody. Hey! I hope the party is not over yet. This is where I have a problem. Yes. What happened to you? Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's just a minor accident. Yes, uh, just a minor accident. And uh, what did I miss? Sharing of the money. Woody seems too aggressive for the money. He's capable of doing anything funny, you know. I was actually telling Lawyer Oswald to speed things up. Hey, didn't the lawyer know that my angel needs new clothing? Mm. Well, if there's nothing more to say or do, I'd ask that I take my leave now. What is going on? Hey, tell me something. You're talking about money. Hey, what's going on? Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry for what happened down there. You're apologizing? You should be furious. So he's been beating you? He doesn't beat me. I... It's just a minor accident. Why are you putting up with this? You don't have to. I love him. It's just, it's just that he's quick tempered. Peggy. Is my brother on drugs? Drugs? I said. Cocaine? Heroin? No! Woody hardly even smokes. He, he doesn't smoke. Isn't No. Woody can't do such a thing. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'm sure. Really sure. Kendall, Woody can't do such a thing. Hey, oh, no, please. Congratulating you on your good fortune. How did you know you're receiving one million Ghana cities? 
you should deposit 5% in their account. Jesus. The question is, how do they know that I was here? How? Ah! Baby, the news is everywhere. All they had to do was to just go, go, go grab a magazine, a uh, newspaper. Did you know to quit? We have to go no, no, we can't. Why did I even attend this party after all? She's dead. I can't help her. This is not my fault. But they accused me of reckless drunk driving. And my breath was show alcohol. I'll go to prison. No. I I couldn't help it. I was driving. She just passed right in front of me. Come on, boy. It's not my fault. It was just an accident. Why, 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 why don't you report it to the police? Police? We don't, we don't have to go to the police. She's not going to come back. What good will that do? Than to punish me. I didn't... I know, but, but what if they did they, 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 they make an accident? What if they, 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 they trace us? No. How can they? There was no one around the scene. I told the mechanic that I... It's, it looks like you have blood in your car. Blood? Uh. I, I hit um I hit a cow. It's okay, it's the cow I the cow, that cow I hit a few minutes back. A cow. Yeah, and it, um then you are very, very lucky because a friend a friend of mine hit a cow and it's got damaged. Oh I guess I'm I guess I'm lucky then. If I'm, if I'm arrested lose my business. Um, I forgot. What are you doing? Sorry, everything. It's fair. Well. But I didn't know you were interested in the rich and famous. I'm not. My mother is. Oh my God. Julia. Don't tell me you are Dr. Harry Bachman's daughter, are you? Sally, please. I'd rather not talk about it. If you don't mind. Are you insane? Sally. <laughs> Do you know how much that man was worth? Then you need to make them know. Sally. Julia, please just drop it. No, I won't. Well, if you want, I will. It's time for Mavis to leave. Here is your remaining money. I have spent so much on her. This father's will better be a reality. My back is on my neck. The interest on the loan is on so much. This way. When is this damn will going to be accessible? Hello, lawyer Tyler or brother Tyler. Maybe so I just wanted to say thank you. I had a lot of fun. Maybe I should become an actress. Yeah, maybe. You're so good at pleasing the audience. I did? Yeah. Wow. 
I'm obliged. Anyway, um, this is your money and your ticket to South Africa. Thank you. I'll be in the hall. Yeah. So what have you been up to? I was washing out everything because I'm getting ready to go to South Africa. South Africa? Yeah. Why? We're all going to leave after the rule has been executed. And we have some catching up to do. I know that, Kendall, but maybe some other time. Life is indeed wonderful. One minute, you're living an average life. The next minute, your one million Ghana cities richer. Yeah, it happens. Such is life. And did you hit the jackpot? According to Father's will, that's what we all inherit. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Why weren't you told? No. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not know that? Uh, I've been thinking I like it here. Maybe I should stay a little longer. What are you talking about? You have a flight to catch. Cool down. You wanted me to play a past one on your segment. Yeah. Now, the fast one seems to be on me. On what? I am worth one million galaxies. <laughs> Go. I'll go when I'm ready. What do you want? Better. Hey, Shirley. Lunch is served. I'm okay. You can go and enjoy your lunch. You seem to have underestimated you. Coming from a crafty lawyer like you, that is a big compliment. What is it? I've paid you so much. Okay, why aren't you just being reasonable? Which part of the dictionary explains this as reasonable? 20,000 Ghana cities out of 1 million Ghana cities. Brother, I deserve more. 50,000. 150,000. 100,000. Deal. Why don't you go to one Brother Tyler, it's been nice doing business with you. This is like a fairy tale. A princess who doesn't even know she is a princess. Only in this case she knows, but she's too naive to do anything about it. This is not fair. The family has all that money and she has nothing. Well, if she won't do anything about it, I damn will. She'll thank me for it. If she won't go looking for them, I will. I'm going to write to them. I don't know. Isn't Julia joining us for the game? She was absent for lunch. No, she actually said um, I should tell you she's going to South Africa for an assignment. What? She doesn't want the money for real. Actually, she does. She gave me the power of attorney to collect the money on her behalf. She, she, she probably couldn't wait for a for fortune. She just came to Wisman's time. God will punish her. I thought she wanted to catch up on things. Strange she left. Has the will been read? 
soon, but from all indications, all road leads my way. That's my sweetheart. Bahamas, there we come. Oh, stop it, I can't wait. I know it'll be so much fun. No fun. When we have ourselves to ourselves alone. Oh my god. Oh, baby, stop it now. I'm going hard already. Me too. I miss you. <laughs> Alright, I miss you too. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. It will interest you to know that you have a health sister by name, Julia Buckman. She is the daughter of Rosemary Nelson and Dr. Harry Buckman. She lives at Tantra Hill, house number 1425 Pantel Avenue, apartment 3B. I am sure Julia would be happy to hear from you. Yours sincerely, a concerned friend. Hello, Baker. Lawyer Tyler, I, I'm sorry I can't do this. You'd have to find someone, someone else to do this. Baker, it's urgent, okay? It's very urgent. L Lawyer Tyler, I have an assignment to finish. I, I have a mission to accomplish. Listen, this is a do or die affair. Julia has resurfaced. You must be joking. How did she find out? I don't know, probably it's because of the press releases or something. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'll do it. But the most important thing is the money. Just mention your price. The investigation cost 10,000 Ghana cities. This I will double to 20,000 cities. Deal. Baby. So you paid 100,000 Ghana cities in totality? Why? You still can't believe it? Dad, I can't believe it. But... But what? I've been thinking. There could be a back to her. I don't understand. I know you can understand this. And that's why we have commanders and field marshals in this game. And trust me, I'm a field marshal. Field Marshal Socrates. That's me. The master planner. That's what me. are you talking about? Okay. See like this. We have to blackmail him now. Extort more money from him. Why? He's fulfilled all his promises. And besides, we are very much okay now. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. Come on. Okay, baby. Look, even the big sea doesn't refuse rainwater. We need to send him threatening letters. He's a lawyer and a noble man. He wouldn't want to be exposed. Hence, he paid more money. Field Marshal Socrates. Salute, baby. Field Marshal Socrates. Me, baby. You're the man. I'm the man. You're the man. From Tosi. Put the music. Let's dance with this. I feel like dancing. Yeah. I Her name is Julia Parkman. She lives at Tantra Hill. House number 1425. Pantel Avenue. Apartment. Sorry to have bothered you. My name is Kwame from Fashion Zone Boutique on the Ring Road right opposite there. Sorry, sorry, just coming. Thank you. Please sit. Thank you. Well, uh, like, like I was saying, we are actually recruiting 
um, young, very pretty, hardworking ladies to market our latest fashion line and accessories. Um, we actually pay 50 CDs a day and uh, we can of course arrange for commission payments. Um, we give you a one year contract um, which is renewable of course so I was actually wondering if you will be interested. Yes, of course. I, I must admit you are a very pretty lady. Thank you. And uh, you have a very nice apartment. Thank you. Um, do you actually live here alone? Um, well, I have a roommate, yeah, but she's gone out for now. I don't really know where she left to. Um, sorry, but um, can I have a drink? Like water? Oh, bush girl. Sorry, sorry. My bad. I'll get it for you. I'll be with you in a bit. All right. <laughs> She's a great opportunity for you. She's marketing her own thing. Julia. Yes, Julia, my flatmate. She left on ceremoniously, but she's really marketing oriented. What do you mean you can't find her? Find her! Dear Honorable Tyler, I'm grateful for employing me. I am worth 1 million Ghana cities. I have just received 100,000 Ghana cities. Well, I have run out of cash and will need 50,000 Ghana cities only. This should not take you more than a week. If it does, you see me live in our father's house. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Very serious here, my money. Hey, 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 come here. Excuse me, what is the problem? Um, sorry. My money. I said my money. What is the problem? The problem is not your problem. But since you want to know, this criminal I call herself a lady owes me some money. And she's been playing smart, playing games with me. And today I'm saying that it's over. I have to get my money. Listen, um, who is she to you? She's nobody. From nowhere. She's from South Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya, I don't know. She was robbed somewhere. I came in as a humanitarian to help. And now she's playing games with me. Do you think I'm a fool? She got to pay me today. How much does she owe you? 1,500 Ghana cities. Is it true? Kneeling down can't help me, miss. I'm tired of begging. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, 100 weeks. To them, my money or never. Listen, um, there's a, there's a way we can solve this thing. Okay, give me a second. Listen, you can take this one thousand Ghana cities for now. Okay. What of the five hundred Ghana cities? Please, can you write me a check? Are you okay? What is your name? Where do you live? That's how I got out of trouble. It didn't end there. I told her everything she needed to know about my family. I told her everything. Everything. Hi, sis. I want to talk to you. You're already talking.
Who were you talking to? Are you okay? Hey. You look depressed. <laughs> Come on, cheer up! Huh? Money ain't shit. And she told me on how you got started on drugs at the hospital. The best thing that ever happened to me. You need help? No. I don't. I'm fine. No, you are not! You're destroying your life. And your wife is worrying. The way you abuse her! Kendo! Yes. Talk to me. God knows how how best I wish we should stop. But 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 what? Of course you can. Going to fight this together. Peggy and I are behind you. You know, you won't understand. Rudy, who has been supplying you with the drugs? Say, when Julia Bachman is out there, who wants to see any of you? Julia. Which of? No, she's not the same Julia Bachman who was here earlier. Then I guess she's an imposter. An imposter? Yeah. It's terrible. Say, so should I call her, please? No, 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 no. I'll handle it. Send her in. I uh, have a seat. Thank you. You're Tyler. Yeah, that's right. And who might you be? Didn't he? Wow. Well, anyway, so I'm, I'm Julia Bachman. Right. Do you have any proof of that? Proof? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have any proof. I just came here to see my family. After 23 years? Yes. So are you here alone? Yes. Um, where do you stay? Um, I live in the village. Okay. Where, which hotel are you lodging in in Accra? Royal Hotel, Spintex. Room number? C9. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go back to your room and um, we will get back to you so that we sort out your issues, yeah? Okay. All right. Thank you. Clock. Clock, please see her off, please. Yeah, right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, she's in what was her room C9. You see the woman that just left here, imposing to be my sister. 
Now, I don't want my sister or my brother to know anything about it. It will upset them. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. This case is hereby adjourned to the 4th of June, 2010. Court rise! Uh, sir, there was a woman in our house yesterday. She's actually a con artist, going around claiming to be our sister. Your sister? I mean, I'm very surprised and embarrassed at the sort of publicity my father's death has caused, and uh, I'd rather we don't blow it out of proportion. So what do we do then? Let us just live in peace. No. I'd rather we cause her arrest immediately. Perhaps she knows something we don't know. No, no, sir. Just, just take my view on this. Let's just lie low, especially you, yeah? Let's just let it... I'll handle everything, all right? All right. Have a nice day. Mavis, this shit is not funny any longer. I know. So if you know why you still blackmailing and extorting money for me? Why are you you're shouting? I'm here. No, you listen and listen good. I've run out of cash and I've run out of patience. You've asked for 100,000 Ghana cities in addition to the other 100,000 Ghana cities I gave you earlier on. I, I have nothing left on me. What are the banks? They loaned me over 500,000 Ghana cities. 500,000 Ghana cities? Yes. Doing what's with it? Chasing one million Ghana cities, I suppose. <laughs> Interesting. Please, Nevis, let's end it right here and now, okay? Just leave and assume we never met. The odds are really against me. Why aren't you eating? I hate to see men disturbed. Please eat. Eat. Nevis, please, okay? I, I beg you in the name of God, just leave. I beg you, please. Assume we never met. Okay. Honorable lawyer Tyler, you put it to me that we have never met. Cut rise. Oh, yes. lawyer Tyler, or brother Tyler, meet my fiance. Who is she to you? No way. She's from South Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya. I don't know. So. Relationship with a Batman. We heard about your claims and we want to ask you a few questions about it. How do you feel being the daughter of the famous and rich Dr. Harry Batman? Have you been in touch with the Batman's family? I'm sorry, you guys have to be Please, oh, no, please, 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 Hello? Hello? Um, can I please have a change of room? Yes? Who is that? Housekeeping, there's smoke coming from the bathroom. What? Where's she there? Where is she there? We don't know where she is. Uh, where, where is she? The lady in this room. We just checked in two hours ago. She was actually here two days ago demanding money. I can't believe she would do this. She was here? Huh? She's a corn artist. What is this all about? Really? 
Have you heard the seven o'clock news, sir? Yes, I have. What do you make of it? This is Julia Bachman. That's my problem. And yet a bigger problem. Lawyer Tyler wants her out of town. His reasons? He says she's a con artist, a froster. Can you handle it? My pleasure, sir. Good morning, Ms. Jones. Um, I came here because of the safety and comfort of this hotel. But when that is being betrayed, what would you have to say? I don't get you, madam. You don't get me? No. Where from all those pressmen last night? I was so embarrassed. How did they know I was here? Actually, madam, the press came here to interview my manager and also take some photo shoots. Unfortunately, you walked into them. And since you're a public figure, they decided to have a chat with you. Listen, the next time you know you'll be having a lot of media attention, do well to inform your guests. Okay? I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. Um, Good morning, Ms. Julia Bachman. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Great. Hope you're enjoying your stay. I am, I am. Manager, I'm very disappointed for what happened last night. Really? What's wrong? The press. Madam, I am not a reporter. I'm Lawyer Oswald. Lawyer Oswald? Yes, uh, I'm with the law firm that represents the Bachman estate. Oh, <laughs> okay. Did you at any point in time tell the press that you are Julia Bachman? <sighs> I'm afraid I was caught off guard. Wow, caught off guard. So you do claim then that you are Harry Bachman's daughter? Yes, I'm his daughter. Do you have any proof? No, I don't have any proof. But you must have proof. I'm sorry, I don't have anything. The Bachman family wants you out of town. What? Yes, out of town. But I don't understand why. I mean, I haven't even... I haven't even met my other brother and sister. Listen, woman, uh, I don't know what your game plan is, but you could end up in jail. You mean arrested? For what? Where did I go wrong? It's your decision. Um, all right, I'll leave to early tomorrow morning. That's wise. I'll see you again. <laughs> Brother Tyler, I want to believe you're asleep, hence you're not picking my call. Who would I have been without you? I need 50,000 Ghana cities for an emergency. 
Should I come over or you bring it to me? Please treat this as urgent. They blackmail. Cheat. Traitor. When persuasion fails, force is applied. Yes, sir. Did you see her? Yes, sir, I did. She's leaving this morning. But something is really bugging me, sir. What could that be? The dog didn't bark. I beg your pardon? You know, sir, the Sherlock Holmes story, the clue was in what didn't happen. And I know for sure something is going on that really needs to be explained. Oh. Sherlock Holmes, huh? Do you want the tights? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Where do you usually wear your skirts? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-six. Forty-five. Forty-five. Good day. Good day. Mrs. Kendall Asamoa? Yes. Yes, please. You are under arrest. For what? For the murder of Martha Bosman. No. No. It was an accident. Okay. She wasn't looking while I was crossing the road. I, I, I didn't mean to. No. Please. Officers. Sir. Yes, sir. Let's cut her to the van. Yes, no, 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 Madame, what's wrong? Are you okay? Are you sure? Stand up. Joyce, maybe she needs some air. Mm. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just saying no. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, I'm here to see Miss Julia Buckman. I'm sorry she just checked out. Checked out? Yes, sir. Did she by any chance tell you where she was going? Well, she instructed us to pick a taxi for her to the New Plan station. How long ago was this? Like 16 minutes ago. 16 minutes. All right, thanks. <laughs> Julia, lawyer Banahene, my boss. Julia Bachman, sir. So you are claiming to be Rosemary Nelson's daughter? I am Rosemary Nelson's daughter, Julia Bachman. Where is your mother? She died years ago. Tell us about your mother. What do you want to know about my mother? We are here to help you. Help? Exactly. I don't need help for my family to accept me. What other proof are they looking for? Look at me, I'm everything my mother is. She has family, you can go back and trace her if you want. I know your mother very well, and I liked her so much. No, you don't. Why? If you know her, you see her in me. From the story you told me, life must have been very difficult for those of you. 
we went through hard times. But what I don't understand is why my siblings don't want to see me. A few weeks ago, a young lady showed up. Claiming to be Julia Buckland. What? How? <laughs> I don't get it. The family hired a private detective to ascertain her authenticity. There's something wrong somewhere. What is happening? We also feel the same way. We feel there is an elaborate conspiracy to take part of the Buckman estates away. And whoever it is will find ways and means to get you out of the way. You need protection. Lawyer, if my presence is not safe here, it's better I leave. You will stay with Lawyer Oswald. You will be safe there. I insist. I just want to go back home. And I also insist we shall need your support periodically. Turn me on. Turn me down. Right back. Yeah. Deceiver. What is it? Yes. You have a problem with that? Uh, money. 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 Julia Bachman's assignment. <gasps> Results. She did. At large. Well, too bad. Find a killer. Show me evidence and you'll be smiling to the bank. Don't worry with my time with next time. Yeah. Turn me now. Turn me back down. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. Yeah. I hear in the city. In the city. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is what I Take it down. Right here in the city. So. Do you live here all alone? Yes. But I do have a housekeeper who comes in twice a week to do some cleaning. I'm going to have to let her stay away for the next few days. I wouldn't want anyone to know you're here. Um, Lawyer Oswald, um, I want you to know that I really appreciate all of this. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm doing my job. Let me show you to your room, okay? Help you with this. Here we are. I hope you'll be comfortable. I really like it. It's cute. One more thing. Uh, I want you to feel as much at home as possible. Because this is going to be your home from now on. Thank you so much for your Call me Oswald. I'll be in my room. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Never felt this way before in my life Like I'm feeling right now oh. oh, wife How come I've gotten myself into all this mess? The one I love most in the world is no more answering my calls He thinks I can't afford him I have too many mouths to seal. The loan I took from the bank is accruing so much interest. I took 500,000 Ghana CDs. Now I'm to pay almost 700,000 Ghana CDs. <gasps> what is this that, that is holding the wheel to be read? Lawyer Banahini says by the end of the month. Are you sure the lawyer knows what he's doing? 
He looks confused. No, not at all. I believe they are doing the right thing. By delaying? They are not the problem. It's the process. The law. So you don't have anyone who cooks for you? You mean like, am I involved with someone? Yes, kind of. You know, I was in a relationship for two years. It just didn't work out. I'm sorry, that's love for you. You? Um, trust me, I don't know. Like, I just don't know. You don't know? It is very difficult to explain right now because one of us wanted to get married and the other did not. Who did and who didn't? It's very personal, at least for now. I understand. I, I do. Thank you. Mm, it's delicious. I can't believe this. So, all this while, my husband has been on drugs and I didn't know. I don't even know my husband anymore. My brother is tormenting my soul and it's affecting him. The way he behaves, the way he dresses, even the way he talks so loosely. Can I can say that again? I always feel ashamed any time we are in public and he misbehaves. I know how it feels. I know how embarrassing it may be. At the end of the day, people will be even pointing fingers at you. <sighs> so, what should we do? My concern is the person that supplies him with the drugs. At least, if we can block that path, I'm sure it will be a positive step. He's so secretive. We have asked him so many times, but to no avail. So I've arranged with Dr. Wilson. I know there will be a solution. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. I pray so. I pray so. Sir, possible? Any progress? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It's it's all smoke. I'm wondering if we shouldn't call in the police on this. What about the private detective they hired? I mean, the one who verified and confirmed the other Julia's fingerprints. Yeah, uh, Fra Frank, Frank Annan. I've left countless messages on his phone, and he hasn't bothered to get back to me. I am beginning to think he's deeply involved, sir. I, I honestly think even the investigation didn't really gel. Whoever it is, for me, it's really covering the tracks pretty well, sir. Oswald, I suspect Woody. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. Tyler Buckman is a noble gentleman. Kendall is fine, and I know she wouldn't even think of doing such a thing. Woody Buckman is indeed my number one suspect, sir. Um, 
I'll be back. Hello. Hello. My name is Frank Cannon. You've been calling my office. How may I be of help to you? Yes, I, I want you to verify the authenticity of the identity of another Julia Backman who has just surfaced. Another? We've never worked on any case concerning Julia Backman. Am I not talking to a Frank Annan from Black Mallet Agencies? Uh, yes. Is that right? Yes, yes. This is Frank Annan. But trust me, we have never worked on any case involving Julia Bachman. I'm sure an impersonation must be going on here. Someone is using your office to verify the authenticity of, 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 of a lady. Mm, this is interesting news, Mr. I'll come by your office next week, sir, to give you a full briefing on the subject and then to solicit for your advice on, on, on it, sir, if it's okay with you. Uh, that's fine. Let's make it Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good one. Welcome. Now, Woody, tell me, as your family doctor, who has been supplying you the drugs? Pardon? I said, who has been supplying you the drugs? <laughs> Um, Who? Peggy. Woody, are you serious? Peggy, tell me what Woody is saying is a joke. Peggy, is it true? It's true. Is is what true? Oh, Drugs to your own husband? You are dead. Devil! Satan! It's unheard of. How could you? You know what? And you are such a good actress. I can remember coming into your room and asking if my brother was on drugs. And you said no. That he hadn't even held a cigarette stick before. Peggy, you are a monster! A monster! Who is a monster? Me or this beast who impregnated my friend? Denied responsibilities that caused us so much embarrassment and humiliation. In an attempt to abort his baby, she lost him. And to add salt to injury, this same beast repeated the same act on my sister! And she died. You all don't know who I am. You don't have the slightest idea who I am. I am not a waitress. I own that restaurant. And if you must know, my name is Chi Chi Quarte. I own Mama Harrod's boutique where you all come to shop. This is payback time. You guys actually thought I was in love with this beast. It was just a plot to make him pay for all his atrocities. You know what? Leave my father's house now. Leave to where? I'm legally married to this beast. And I'm waiting patiently for our share of my father-in-law's property. Can you imagine? <laughs> And who is this house boy of a husband staring at?
Hey, what's the latest? Yes, I spoke to the original Frank Allen today, and he has absolutely no idea about what's going on. That's really shocking, you know. Yeah. Obviously, if he's fake, then the Julia Bachman we know is also not real. This is getting more and more interesting by the day, don't you think? Um, you know what, why, why don't you take your supper and then go and have a cold shower and then have some rest. Thank you. I'm going to get some sleep. Except Woody, he's on drugs, and drugs are very expensive. You got him. I got him. He's a careful schemer, but I got him. I'm needed that I'll be coming back for my own share of my father in laws property. And if you ever think I'm going to grant you a divorce, I won't. Because I'll make sure I frustrate your life. you hear from a lawyer. So she's leaving me? Yes. That means I... I know what that means, and you can handle it. Sure. I have reason to believe that the lady who came to see you recently is a real Julia Buckman. The first one was fake. Well, that's not possible. I'm afraid it's possible. There's something else. I think I know who's behind all this. Yes. It's your brother, Woody. Well, I, 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 I can't believe this. I mean, my own brother? Neither could I know lawyer Banahene, but it all zeroes in on him. I had a talk with Dr. Wilson. And lawyer, do you know your brother's on drugs? Yeah, I kind of suspected it though, but I think Kendall confirmed it. Drugs are expensive. Woody isn't working. He needs money. And if you see the aggression with which he wants a sharing of the estate done, it only explains it. He had the fake Julia. You requested for a DNA test. He panicked and sent someone to kill her. As long as that Julia is alive, there are two Julius, and his plan can't work. Are you sure about all these? Absolutely. Well, there's something else, though. What else? Investigations have proven that your father didn't accidentally drown. We believe Woody had him murdered, and our eyes are seriously on him. His evil deeds will soon be exposed. Well, but that, that's barbaric. Furthermore, the Frank Annan we both know is an imposter. An imposter? Which means Julia Buckman, the first one that is, is a fake. We have a 24-hour surveillance placed on them. Right, so where's the real Julia Buckman? Are you sure she's safe? She's where nobody can find her. She's staying in my house. The gods are on my side. I can't believe my good fortune. Oswald has delivered Julia into my hands. Baker is a complete fool. He wants money. He will receive death. I'll take care of Baker. Then Julia. Mavis 
is being handled. I'm almost near my dreams. This is ridiculous. Oh, who do they think you are? They know who I am and that's the problem. Listen, I need money really quickly. The thing is how? Maybe I suppose you can get some, some loan from the bank uh, against your inheritance. But I just don't like the idea. I, I don't... Honey, listen, we're talking about my life here. Our lives. I think I'll go and talk to my bankers there, so I can get these bastards off my back. Babies! Baby! It's one forty two AM. What is going on? Did you scared me? Trace. I framed it on my fiance. Proof. Neighborhood alarm. So is a masterpiece. I'll call you. Ma, tell me it is not true. Tell me Kindle is joking. This, this is incredible. Blackmailing your own wife? You a devil. God will punish you. May you stumble for the rest of your life. I have born you. your fault. No. I told you. It was an accident. No, 
you, you, you think I'm talk, talk, talking about the accident? I'm talking about you. The big, successful Kenville who has no time for your husband. Can you have all the connections? All the connections! Yet I'm un unemployed and you, you, you enjoy it! You think I wanted to be Mr. Kendall? I wanted a wife. A submissive wife. The one I can also control. That's, that's rubbish. That's not rubbish. Fuck you. Now we don't need you in this house again. Put your things in here. Leave my house right now. Very little chance. Do you plan on going to see them? Please. It's your word against mine. Because I deserve to be paid at this point. The risk. My face. What about your face? Her friend saw my face. She can identify me. Sorry, I'll take care of that. That girl surely needs to be executed. That's why we're here. Great. Why are we wasting time then? I have my knife. I have my gun. That's all that happened. I confided in my husband and told him the truth. And then he decided to blackmail me. This is confession to the maximum. In fact, in my whole career, I've not had anyone confessing like the way you have just done. Mark has really disappointed me. So, do you want to go to the police? I guess. I just want to get this over and done with. I'm tired. Well, I will ask lawyer Oswald to take you to the police headquarters, homicide unit, where you write a statement and then he will sign your bail. Then? And then the police will start their investigations. Then? We file a suit, go to court, and we defend you. Oh, I'm traumatized. Oh, Mrs. Asamoa. Miss Buckman. I'm sorry, Miss Buckman, you will be fine. I hope things are getting better. Oh, I wish. What is it again? Peggy has been supplying Woody with heroin to make him submissive. Heroin? For what? I mean, how? Why? So she can control him. Control him how? She claims.
claims Woody is submissive anytime he's high. So is that the way to control a husband? That's not all, my dear. Mark has been blackmailing Kendall. Please, Oswald, please spare me these outrageous jokes, please. It's true. He claims Kendall has loads of money, he's broke, he doesn't go to work, and so he wanted to make some money for himself as well. Why my siblings? The, the harder I try, the tougher it seems. This is really getting unbearable, you know. The problems are just too much. Oswald, you're such a wonderful man. Sacrificing your life to help others in trouble. You've refused picking my calls for the past week. You are avoiding the signing of our agreement. You promised me 50% off. Hello? Hello? Hello, excuse me, who is this? So, Tyler, you are too timing me. You have another lover. Tell me it's not true. Tell me you are not seeing anyone apart from me. No, no, no. Come, come, come on, baby. Come on, baby, please. Come, come on, please. Baby. <laughs> Don't baby me. Listen, baby, I can explain everything, okay? I, let, let me just explain, please. I, I beg you. You filthy shit. You know what, Tyler? Tell this to the best. I hope whosoever he is makes you happy. Thanks for breaking my heart. It's cool. not a lover. He is a killer. A traitor. I hope you. I've come too close to lose you, Michael. Please come back. I love you. Oswald, you're so cute. A perfect man. I admire you greatly. It's so frustrating to think that she's lying alone in her bed with only a thin wall separating us. Your lips. When am I going to have a feel of your breath? A wall that is a million miles apart. Julia, I love you so much. I love you more than you can think, Oswald. I'll do anything for you. How I wish you know the way I feel for you. Your eyes, the way you walk, your talk. What if I say I love you, Julia? What will be your response? Gather courage, Oswald, and whisper into my ears. Tell me you love me, and I'll gladly jump into your arms. 
I love you, Julia. I love you. I love you, Oswald. I love you. The reading of the will is not today, but tomorrow. Yes, I know. I know. Mr. Buadi and uh, Mr. Obing, they are finished with the preparation of the financial reports. Most importantly, there is one development that I'd like to inform you about. Uh, I came here purposely to introduce you to your biological sister. But we've already met her. Exactly. I hereby introduce your sister, Julia Buckman. What the hell are you talking about? What sort of prank are you guys trying to pull here? I'm very, very surprised, lawyer Banaini. This matter is before the court and as such, too much can't be said about it. However, Charity and Associates confirms that Julia Buckman's DNA matches that of your father. Tyler, this is a big surprise. You are a lawyer, and so you can petition the court for authentication, if you so please. Well, with much ado, I think uh, we shall leave. Tomorrow, we shall read the wheel. Thanks so much. of the will is tomorrow. I have one witness alive and he is a threat. It's now or never. The journey has been long. Good afternoon, young ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm sure you know why we are all here this afternoon. We are here to execute the will of the late Dr. Harry Buckman of blessed memory. Please, may we all stand to pay him a minute's silence of respect. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with me here is Mr. William Obing, and this is Mr. Leonard Quarting. They are both with the law firms that represent Buckman Enterprises. They have in their possession the entire financial reports of the enterprises. In the meantime, um, we shall go over the will and then uh, we can discuss the will before they take it up from there. Still discussing? 
Are we not here to share the money? Ah. Uh, well, if that's the way you want it, I have copies of the will here. You can share it amongst you so that uh, we can avoid all the technicalities. Remember, I told you that the estate is to be shared amongst the children equally. And also remember that it's worth approximately four million Ghana cities. Mr. Obing, you can take it up from there. What lawyer Banaini said is true, but Beckman Enterprises is in debt in excess of 15 million Ghana cities. What the hell are you talking about? Is this some kind of Maccabi joke? It better be. Mr. Leonard Quartin is with the Securities Commission. He will explain it. Dr. Bachman bought a lot of stock with borrowed money from the Central Bank. And the value of the stock kept falling instead of rising. He couldn't pay the interest of the borrowed money, and therefore, he borrowed money to pay up the debt. But the value of the stock kept on depreciating. Without leaving Dr. Bachman in debt. In other words, he did not leave us anything. That was why he left us his uh, estate. You are right about that. You know, you were all in his will. Because the bankers did not go along with him, he knew that. Because he knew there was nothing he was living. Nothing? Yes. But um, he talked to equity securities and uh, they promised helping him. However, as soon as he knew that he was about to be solvent, then he changed his will again. What are you talking about? But he has other properties. I'm sorry, um, those uh, properties will be sold to pay up the accumulated debt. In short, in short, Dr. Harry Buckman left nothing for the children to share. In furtherance of that, if all the assets have been liquidated and there is still more to pay, the courts will have no option than to fall on the beneficiaries, being you to pay up. God forbid! Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to interrupt your meeting. Well, I'm Inspector Lai of the Homicide Unit, Police Headquarters. Uh, if I may ask, what is the purpose of your visit? Lawyer Talabokman. Anyone, Lawyer Talabokman? Is there a problem? I am Lawyer Talabokman. I'm placing you under arrest for conspiracy to commit murder and the committing of murder. You have the right to remain silent. If you choose to let go of this right, anything you say here will be used against you in the court of law. You also have the right to talk to a lawyer of your choice to represent you in court. But if you can have for one, the state is going to appoint you one to represent you in court before question. Arrest him. No, you can't. Arrested. What's he talking about? Excuse me. Wait a minute. What did you say your name, sir? Which unit do you come from? I'm Inspector Johnny Lai of the Homicide Unit Police Headquarters. And my colleague here is Officer Dan Smith. Any problem? Arrest him. Tell him. Go with him. What's happening? Sally, I love him. I love him so much. Listen to your instincts. Just obey your heart. Yes, that's the problem. I'm even over obeying my heart. 
How do I get it across to him? Don't forget I'm a woman. Oh, cut that crap. Be a woman. Before you know, he'll be in another woman's arms. Look, all you need to do is... Yes? Yes, sir. Did you know? Did you call me? Say, say yes. Mm -hmm. no. Hey, say yes, Julia. Say yes, you called him. Just tell him you called him. Yes, go on and tell him you called. Say it, Julia. Say it. Yes, go on. <laughs> Don't be silly. Yes. Yes, see, yes. Hold him. Look, Julia. Destiny just knocked on your door. Grab it. Grip it firmly. Hold on to it tight and don't lose it. Just go on. I cannot resist destiny. I can't deny the pleasure of our hearts beat as one. I cannot resist destiny. Julia. Another girl has just lost her virginity. You're a virgin. Oh, Julia. I love you forever. I love you so much, Oswald. This is like the happiest day of my life. Even when you had nothing from your dad's will? If it had been from my dad's will, I would have left long ago. Really? Really. Would you ever go away? Prosecutor. My lord, lawyer Tyler Bachman here this day is accused on five counts. One, attempt murder and murdering. Two, condoning and conniving. Three, conspiracy to impersonation. Four, aiding and abetting. Five, posing as a lawyer with fake documents. My lord, Fact of the case as such, lawyer Tyler Backman's license was extradited in the Ghana Bar Association two years ago for sodomy. Lawyer Tyler Backman condoned and connived with Roland Quaison for the murder of businessman and tycoon Dr. Harry Backman. My lord, lawyer Tyler Batman murdered Alice Baker. Lawyer Tyler Batman here, my lord, condoned and connived with Roland Quaison for the murder of Mavis Brown. Finally, my lord, lawyer Tyler Batman aided the suicide gunshot of Roland Quaison. Arrest my case. Counsel of the accused, what do you have in defense before we proceed? My lord, my client, the accused, lawyer Tyler Buckman, is a noble and a learned fellow of the fraternity. I strongly believe that all the allegations levied against my clients 
are mere allegations and assumptions without basic facts of hard evidence. My Lord, the accused, as such, pleads not guilty, are therefore pray this honorable court to live up to its highest justice, to acquit and discharge my clients accordingly. My Lord, that's all for now. Lawyer Tyler Buckingham, what do you have to say in defense? Yes, my Lord. Like my learned fellow just said, there is no iota of truth in all the accusations meted against me. My Lord, this is a classic case of character assassination. And I know nothing, absolutely nothing, of such charges. Now I'll use this opportunity to plead not guilty. I rest my case. Um, any further question, prosecutor? Yes, my lord. My lord, I have in my possession a CD, a CD recording mark, exhibit 1A, which I found that very night, I believe lawyer Bachman here went to apparently agree or sign an agreement with him concerning previous jobs that he has already executed. My Lord, for the purposes of doubt, evidence and proof, the court have arranged that the CD is played for the court and the public. My Lord, if you would permit us, I will play the CD for the court and the public. Request granted. Thank you, my Lord. Ro, I hope everything is all right. I came for us to sign the agreement. I don't think it will be necessary. Why? What benefit will that be to get that money and die? Oh, well, come on. It's too early in life to be talking about death. I mean, you're a millionaire in disguise. I have sinned against God and humanity. I have wronged my own soul. Bro, it's too late in the night to be talking about all these things, all right? Let's get down to business. On the day of judgment, we will all respond to our names. I am Roland Quaison. What is yours? Tyler Buckman. You made me murder your father, Dr. Harry Buckman, and an innocent girl with his brown and cold blood. You made Roland Quaison commit murder against this wish. My guy, is everything all right with you? I know what you're thinking. That I have sniffed. Far from that. I want you to know that my heart bleeds against the blood I have shed. Ro, killing my father and neighbors will go on this and will be fine. But I came for us to do business. So go and get the paper and pen and let's sign the agreement. No. I'm signing no agreement. But you own 50% of the will. You need it. I don't. I am aware of your wickedness. And you don't deserve to leave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro. You made me kill your father and Mavis. Who did you kill? Come on, it's too early to talk about this. What did I do? I said, what did you kill? Oh, shoot. Alex, I don't know Alex Baker. Are you happy? Huh? You killed Alex Baker. I will not be responsible for any bloodshed. Judgment awaits us all. God for
Counsel for the accused, what do you have to say? My Lord, arrest my case. Tyler Buckman, do you have anything to say? My family members, please forgive me. Find it in your heart to forgive me, please. Judge, please, I beg you. I'll be of good behavior. <laughs> Evidence have proven lawyer Thailand Buckman guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Lawyer Thailand Buckman's plea to the court in his earlier submission pleaded not guilty. He lied. Is therefore charged with another count for lying to this court. On this count and the charges against lawyer Tyler Buckman, I therefore sentence you, Tyler Buckman, to 99 years imprisonment with hard labor. Your sentence starts now. Court rise. Till the end of time 